Um, I just wanted to talk today about some of the books that I have recently gotten into and are reading or are planning on reading and my recommendations if I would want you to read them or not. Um, so here's the stack of them that I'm going to talk about today and then I, I'm just going to get into that. So yeah. Vanishing Half. I just bought it today and it's I picked it up because it was one of the New York Times bestseller for the year of 2020. It is also the a GMA book club pick so that was another reason why I thought I should read it. And the sentence on the back of this book that really made me want to pick it up and read it was Looking well beyond the issues of race, it considers the lasting influence of the past as it shapes a person's decisions, desires, and expectations. So I am really excited to get into this book. I am planning on reading it um, pretty soon and then I'll have another update on what I think about that afterwards. The second book that I have today is People We Meet on Vacation. And this book is by Emily Henry. Um, it's a, also a New York Times bestseller. She is the author of Beach Read, so, which is why I picked up this book because I have read Beach Read and I am obsessed. And so I'm not planning on reading this book until I go on vacation because I do want a book that I can read while sitting there. Um, the sentence on the back of this that made me want to pick it the most was um, was now she has a week to fix everything if only she can get around the one big truth she she that has always stood quietly in the middle of their seemingly perfect relationship what could possibly go wrong so i'm excited to see the twist and turns and emily henry is honestly an incredible writer so i'm excited to see what she does with that book now the first book that i read off of um book talk was this they both die at the end and this is by adam Sil silvera and he it is a New York Times bestseller and it is because it is incredible. I picked up this book because every single review that I saw was talking about how just incredible it was and how everyone was crying at the end and so I believe I read this book last summer and I would take it everywhere I went. I babysat in the summer and I would and we would have our reading time and during that time I would read this and I just wanted to continue reading it. Pretty much in this book, uh, it's called Your End Day. Uh, you know, you get a call on the day that you're gonna die. You know you're gonna die and there's nothing you can do to make that it change. In this book, there's an app. It's called The Last Friend and you can pretty much pick someone to hang out with on your last day. And so these two young boys, they meet each other when it's their last day and they spend their day together. And it, this book goes into detail of what these boys did on their last day, what they did before, the grief they go through, knowing that they're not gonna be able to do things in the future. On top of this, it says, we here at Friends, at Last Friends Incorporated are collectively sorry for this loss of you. Our deepest sympathies extend to those who love you and those who, who will never meet you. We hope to find a new friend of value to spend your final hours with today. So I give this review um, probably uh, honestly a 9 out of 10. I'm probably going to rank all these very high on what I think you should read because I picked them because other people were recommending them. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about why I picked them honestly. The next book I read was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, Colleen's an amazing writer. I actually got this book off of Ava Jewell's story. I, um, I had it screenshotted because I remember when I was in the bookstore, I was like, this looks familiar. And I went through my camera roll and I saw that. Okay, so Lily is the main character of this story. And she, um, she is opening a flower shop. She goes and she, she meets this man named Ryle. She, uh, they pretty much become, they start dating and then a lot of things start to unfold, which leads to the end of the story and everything that happens. With the bold and deeply personal novel, Colleen Hoover delivers a heart-wrenching story that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer. It ends with us as an unforgettable tale of love and at what love that comes at the ultimate price. I give this book a 10 out of 10 for how Colleen um, talks about um, relationships and feelings that are involved in them and just everything about them. I highly recommend reading this book if you have not already. 
The next book that I got off of BookTok was The Love Hypothesis. And honestly, um, I'm not gonna lie, you can, see, you can tell what the ending is as soon as you start reading it. But honestly, that's what I loved about it. I just wanted to dive right into it. So Olive is a college, is a, well, is a third year PhD candidate. And she um, pretty much start, kisses this guy, oh, Adam Carlson. He's a professor. He's not her professor. But they attack, um, <laughs> for um, Jessica Claire at the bottom, she says, this tackles one of my favorite tropes, grumpy meets sunshine in the fun, most utterly endearing way. And I could not agree more. I love this book so much. And I honestly wish I hadn't read it yet just so I can read it again. So yeah, I highly recommend this book as well. And the book that I just got done reading is called Beach Read. It is by Emily Henry. This one is a love story about polar opposites um, and how they get to meet each other and everything about that and what, how they fall in love. So January Andrews, she's the main character. It goes into her thoughts about love and how she views relationships and how she views her, the world as a writer. Um, she meets Augustus Everett but they have previously already met. He's also a writer and she it goes into detail of their relationship and how they met and how they viewed each other and how he views the world as negative and just terrible and how she used to view it as amazing until um, a life-changing event happened to her. At the end you see how they kind of teach each other how you can view the world um, both ways. So I honestly believe that was a great read. Emily Henry is a great writer, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I highly recommend this. I probably would give this a solid nine out of 10 as well. Um, but yeah, those are the Very books. I to read more books by Emily Henry and I cannot wait to read more Colleen Hoover books. I believe these two women um, are just great writers and so I cannot wait to read this book. I'm just very excited for that. So yeah, that's about all. Um, I don't really have much more to say other than I'm trying to read more and I like um, watching YouTube videos about um, book recommendations and stuff like that. Um, I know Haley Pham has really gotten into reading books and talking about her recommendations on them and her thoughts and so she's the one who really inspired me to, I guess, make a book, um, a book vlog I guess more of a book video and I haven't really had like a sit down video I don't think I've more recorded me and my friends so I thought this could be just a nice little <laughs> hope you guys actually get to read these books or if you want you can just borrow them off of me because I know that's probably just my friends <laughs> watching this so I'm excited for you guys to read these but yeah